nieces and niece stills. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista. She is I and I am her. And you have arrived to Nisa's Nation over here. We do mainly things fragrances, whether it is body or home. And today, you guys, we are going to talk about some of my latest fragrance purchases. So if you're interested in hearing that type of content, please stay tuned. And while you're at it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a part of the nation. All right, so let's just get right into this, you guys. So these are my latest fragrances that I have picked up inside of this little haul. Well, I wouldn't say it's a haul because I have done some unboxings on Instagram and I have shared some of these in previous videos. But I do have a perfume oil as well as a body silk. And two of these, one was gifted through PR and the other one was gifted as an early birthday present. All right, so um, the first thing that I wanna share with you, this is the bun number nine, Nolita's Body Silk, you guys. So I have talked about Nolita on this channel several times. It was one of my most worn summer, summer, spring, well, summer, cause I got it in the summer summer fragrances of 2022 and I do wear it occasionally in other seasons. I honestly think that it's a year-round fragrance. It has notes of tangerine and it's just um, a fresh tarty tangerine and it has that freezer in it as well. Very nice but the packaging is always so aesthetically attractive and pleasing with bun number nine so as you can see this matches the actual edp the perfume um fragrance and it has the bun number nine logo this is a very heavy container this container is actually ceramic it's like ceramic so this is repurposeful you can repurpose this but um these are by far probably the best body silks. They feel the best to me. Um, I'm wondering if they've ever come unscented because this would be really nice unscented. I'm going to tell you what it kind of puts me in the mind of. It really, the formulation really puts me in the mind of the Fenty Body Butter. So you know how nice that is. I don't know if you can see it. The light is probably drowning it out. But it's a very smooth... It's just so nice. It, it just, it glides and it is so smooth. Feels so good. But if you want to take your bun fragrances up to another dimension, just add the body silk in. Um, they don't always have them available in every fragrance. I don't think they ever release them in every fragrance. This is my fourth fragrance that I have had. They don't even have the um, my favorite one of all time, which is the Centerpiece. I haven't seen that one in a very long time. Um, I've had the pink and green. I think that's Madison Square. I have the fragrance for that as well. So I've had that one before as well too. But they are really, really, really nice. So um, I had gotten the Greenwich Village around Christmas time. And I spotted this one when I was getting the Greenwich Village. So I made up my mind. And I went and purchased it. So again, this is the Nolita's Body Silk by um, Bun Number no. 9. Alright, the next fragrance um, is something that I picked up in all the hype. I just could not resist it. Um, I had to know. I had to go. I never went in with the intentions. Well, I did go in with the intentions on getting both of them. But I was not going to buy both of them at a $400 price tag. That was not what I wanted to do. So when I went to Saks, they did not carry the 30 mil. And that's how I like to purchase my fragrances by this particular brand. Because that's how I started purchasing the ones that I already have. But um, I ended up getting this one because it was love at first sniff. And I'm not saying that it's not still very um, nice. It is extremely nice. I did get the other one, which was the Cherry Smoke, as a sample. Um, I opted to get this one because I feel like Cherry Smoke was, it had that deep richness to it. 
like the Lost Cherry and I already have Lost Cherry. So I opted to get this because I do think that this is a very pretty girl fragrance and I just think it's different. It's different from the DNA of Tom Ford. And I really feel like I have found a cherry that I like. So I cannot wait to experience this and wear it during the um, spring and summer months. But I kind of have an idea that I want to pair it with, to uh, of something I want to pair it with to kind of amp it up and give it just a little bit more boldness so that you know you will be comfortable with the Tom Ford DNA. But this is totally different. It's not bad at all. I have no qualms against it. Um, if I did, I would have returned it. So as you can see, I am deciding to keep this and we're gonna see what it provides when the climate changes. So again, this is Tom Ford's Electric Cherry just released this year in 2023 well the last part of 2022 but it has that um merlot cherry which is that sour cherry and some jasmine sandbox and to be honest with you the jasmine sandbox it was like the nail in the coffin when it came to me deciding this but it's a really nice fragrance you guys if you have not checked out my first thoughts or impressions videos on this and the smoke cherry click the card above so I got that one. The next one I got, it was um, an early gift. I am an Aquarius baby. Um, so this is Centerpiece. This is a replenished fragrance. Anyone who knows me, they know that this is my all time favorite fragrance. This is no less than the eighth, no more than the 10th. I know eight to 10 of these fragrances have crossed the threshold of my home at some point. I've been rocking with bun number nine a very long time. And Centerpiece is by far, if I had to let all of them go, Centerpiece would be one that I would keep. I've also did a video on that. It's like one of my forever niche fragrances. And um, I got this very familiar to me. I've had many bottles of this in both sizes in the 3.3 as well as the 1.7 this is also my toots favorite so that's why um we can't keep it in the house because it's it's just a fan favorite so that is the centerpiece and centerpiece it's a very fresh um just beautiful airy it has i think it has a little um, a lily of the valley and it has like a grapefruit note in it. It is really nice. Very nice fragrance. All right. So this is the one that I received in PR. I also did a um, full dedicated review. If you have not checked out my full dedicated review, please click the card above. And this is the Black Opium La Parfum by YSL. This is a white floral with coffee accords and vanilla fragrance. Very beautiful fragrance, very beautiful fragrance, but I do think that it needs to mansurate. Couldn't think of the word. It needs to mansurate. So that's why I'm keeping it inside of the box and I showed the other boxes just to show them to you, but I'm actually keeping both of these in my perfume cabinet inside of the box all the way in the back so that it can get an opportunity to um, develop. Because I just think being that they are new, they have not fully developed. Um, so check out my full dedicated review on the Black Opium La Parfum by YSL. Okay, so the next item that I got is um, a perfume oil by Ness. This is new to it came out before the year ended, um, but this is one of their perfume oils. This is the um, Balnese Coconut. And you guys, this smells so good. It is so sweet. It smells like sweet coconut candy to me. This is so good. And those of you who know, you know these perfume oils, they are so good. They are good 
um, to wear alone. They are good to mix with other fragrances. So I cannot wait to experience this. You know, coconut is normally like a summer fragrance, but I'm going to start playing around with it so I can already be aware of how I want to blend it with my fragrances or how I want to wear it. But again, this is the Balise Coconut by Nest Perfumes. And this is the Rollerball. Um, they do have the full size, I think they're like 30 mils, droppers. But this is the Rollerball. All right, and the last fragrance is by Replica. And this is new as well. This is on a date. I think these are just so cute. I love these. So as you can see, I have already been wearing this. I have a little usage dent. I have really been enjoying this fragrance, you guys. It is very unique. It is, um, I do think that this can be a unisex fragrance, but it is a very unique, sexy fragrance. It has this exoticness. You know, anytime I think something is overly sexy, I say that it's exotic. It is really nice. Um, it's not soft. It stands. It projects. And I have worn it several times and it just wears so well. It has a nice lasting power, a nice projection. And it is really nice. Really nice. I am going to do a full dedicated review on it though. So again, this is On a Date by Replica. So those are the latest items. Well, actually, I have more fragrances, but um, we're going to save those for February because I just got them a few days ago. And these were the latest ones that I purchased the beginning of the year. So I want to thank you guys again for coming back to the channel. And do not forget, you, yes, you, you are great. Bye-bye.